my name is Kaylin Maltes, and I'm a junior and currently am majoring in management and human resources and entrepreneurship. I took uh, an in, uh, entrepreneurship class with Corey Billington, and one of the projects we had to work with a company that he was mentoring currently, and I had the privilege of working with Stephanie Bowman, who is the founder of AI Understand You, and that company is building a conversational agent that works on a smartphone app that allows college students to navigate and experiment and explore the different theories of therapy that are on campus and locally get them in contact with those resources in person. So our job was to consult for her to solve some problems that she had with her business plan. Um, I was really particularly interested in how she was going to outreach in the community and, and things like that. And I just really got passionate into the project and, and that carried over into the summer when they asked me if I wanted to continue working with her. So I uh, performed a lot of market research for her. She had several teams working on her project, a lot of uh, master's programs and undergrad, and she was kind of lost on how to put all of those suggestions together. So my first task was to kind of consolidate and synthesize those action plans that she received uh, and to come up with kind of one big action plan that she can follow from now on that is pulling from all of those teams and those suggestions um, and a lot of that was with the actual app development and figuring out what are the next steps when you develop an app and who do you talk to. Uh, and that kind of got on pause a little bit because of the university's kind of dismantling and reorganizing of departments. So we kind of had to pivot and reprioritize what we were working on. And through that, I um, started working on market research with her clients. So I wrote a survey that should be going out to every student that's enrolled at UW this week, I believe, to ask about their opinions on kind of using this tool, if they would use it, would it change the counseling experience? What are their concerns? And, and also, you know, questions about like privacy and, and data and privacy. Um, and then I also represented her at the Wyoming Biotechnology Summit and pitched to investors and put her name out there. Uh, together, we kind of came up with the idea for her to start a group for professionals who are interested in artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality, to get together and talk about how these technologies are encountering their industries and, and what they can do about it to really harness this movement. And, uh, and I've also put her in the direction of starting an RSO on campus to get students involved in that so she can tap into that talent later on when they graduate. I think the most surprising experience was going to represent her at the Wyoming Bio, uh, Biotechnology Summit. Um, I went alone because she wasn't able to go the first day. And so I was really scared because everyone there is, you know, kind of a big presence in the Wyoming business, especially when it comes to like health sciences and health technology. And I'm just a business undergrad. Um, so I was, I didn't really know what I could contribute to the entire experience, but um, being able to sit there and to talk to people, they were genuinely interested to see what my opinions were and what I personally experienced in college and kind of my viewpoint on business and, and how that intersects with young talent and how to tap into that. Um, it was very surprising to be taken seriously as a business person and a business consultant at a young age. You think that you don't have enough experience, but experience is experience. It's an asset, whether you have little of it or you have a lot of it, um, because it can, it can form and change people's opinions and, and, and help them make decisions. And that was just really valuable. Um, and it's kind of shaped how I'm approaching the rest of my degree. Like I'm not just a student here going to classes, getting good grades. I'm a young businesswoman who is figuring out what my business style is and networking and kind of setting myself up for a career after I graduate. I think it has changed it so dramatically. You, especially as like a freshman and a sophomore, your classes are kind of those prerequisite classes. So they're not incredibly hands-on. And I I guess I just had this false idea that that was how it was gonna be throughout all of college. But these entrepreneurship classes, especially all the classes I've had in the business college are just rich with hands-on in-person experience. I mean, I'm rubbing elbows with angel investors and with entrepreneurs and CEOs and they're genuinely interested in my educational journey. Um, it's just, it's incredibly holistic and 
it's very enriching. I, I mean, I just wasn't expecting to get so much value out of this degree program because I didn't come in originally as a business major. I switched majors and that was a really big risk and, and I don't regret it for a second. Going into my business major, I knew I wanted to be my own boss and to have kind of autonomy in my career. But these projects have really pushed me towards business consulting and helping other people with their business plans and solving problems and kind of evaluating the market and how it changes and, and adapting to that. Um, I, my mother owns a business coaching uh, business and I never thought that I would ever want to you know, get into the family business. But now I am really excited to start learning from her and to maybe partner with her and to help her clients as well. Um, it's just, it's really fun to get the knowledge for yourself, but you don't realize how fulfilling it is to help someone else with that and to get them that knowledge as well that you're learning in classes until you do it. And then it's like, you have to keep doing it. You just have to keep helping people with, um, their dreams. Cause that's essentially what you're doing. And it's completely shaped how I'm looking at college now and going on from there. Um, I think if you got this opportunity and you turned it down, you'd really be letting yourself down.